Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second week of August. So let's just see what comes up. We're going to start with a couple of these, see what comes out. Well, there they are. <clears throat> Tiger. Doing something risky, taking a chance. Ear, good news. So some sort of good news is coming. Heart, love, deep affection, caring. So this is beautiful. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So this is beautiful. It really is. Oh, we got one more. Not, ooh, unsuccessful plans. So there's something that isn't going to be successful, but, but, good news is coming, and it may have to do with love, okay? It may have to do with love. You are uh, developing your spirituality and your awareness and your understanding. Um, I do feel like you need to be careful, though. Because I feel like this one goes with this one. I do. I feel like I feel like there's you take a chance on something and it's unsuccessful. Um, I don't know why, but that's how I feel. But I do. But there is some sort of good news coming, and it has to do with love. Okay, and it could be even self-love. Um, you're going through some sort of awakening by the looks of things and sometimes when you're going through an awakening um, there's something that you don't need so there may be something that will be unsuccessful that is hindering your development you know what I'm saying so but anyhow there the the best card here is heart so and good news so there's good news coming What do we have for Leo? You're going to be hearing something, okay? You are going to be hearing something that probably fills your heart with joy or something like that. Uh, what do we have for Leo? Oh, Queen of Cups. Now, you could be taking on this energy or this could be somebody around you. This is somebody that is very loving. That has a very big heart. That has a lot of love to give. This is a very healing energy. It's a counselor or a healer or somebody that is very intuitive. Um, this is a lot about self-love as well. Because the Queen of Cups is all about love she, and self-love. Love from within. Ooh, the sun reversed. So interesting because that is your energy. So the sun reversed is sadness. It's not healthy. So this is not healthy. This is depressed. This is darkness. Okay, because the opposite of light is darkness so you need to love yourself you really need to love yourself I know a lot of this has to do with that you may be in, a, in some state of depression or in a sad period in your life but it, and love starts within you three of wands get prepared something is coming you may not see it yet but it is coming I see you focusing on the future this week you're going to be Probably turning your back on a dark situation. You, because see, you, you're probably going to be turning your back. You're more focused on the future. You may be healing. Okay, you may be healing from something. Working on yourself. I think that you're you're being. This is this can be overly optimistic, and this is optimism. Be careful. You need to be. And this is could be kind of like fantasy. So I, I just have to remind you, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear the bad stuff, but remember to be in your reality. There's a lot of, uh, you need to be real, okay? You need to be realistic. 
All right, make sure that you're being realistic and not overly optimistic. It's great to be optimistic and optimism is needed, but don't lose sight of the, of the truth, okay? Because this is this is very much uh the queen of cups can uh she can allow herself to dip into fantasy a little too far. Okay? So just to be careful. Um but this is focusing on the future. You may be feeling on top of the world. This is definitely an exciting time. King of Rod, Rods. Now, this could be your energy. You see, this guy looks angry. You see, he's got a fist. So, you you know, there's there, we have somebody here that may get angry. They're on a mission. They got this vision, and they're taking action. And it looks like... Uh, going after something I think that you really and this is about taking a risk okay I think that you are going to take a risk this week that you know you got this vision and you feel the need to take action right now so you're going to be taking action and it may lead to unsuccessful plans you're you know this has to do with a, a relationship I believe um moving six of rods this is your unsuccessful plans six of six of wands reverse this is your unsuccessful plans uh this is a lose okay this is a fail but some failure is what teaches us okay every time we fail we learn from it so this this is some sort of it's not a win, okay? It's not a win. It's something that you may not be completely prepared. Maybe you thought you were prepared and you move really fast. This is fast movement and this is fast. It looks like this person's moving fast. When you move too fast, you make, you know, think without making a, without uh, being logical, you know, things don't always work out. There's not very much logic here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say. Anyhow, um, the chariot is moving in a new direction. It's determination. I see that you are highly determined. There's a lot of mental strength here. You want to move forward. You're looking for victory. Um, for some of you, you could have somebody coming into your life. Okay, you could have somebody coming into your life, and they want to move forward with you. They may have feelings for you. Okay, and maybe you're being overly optimistic about it, you know, and I, yeah, I just have to tell you to be careful. I do. Um, this chariot is, you know, self-control, self-discipline, hard work, you know, going through a transformation. So I do feel like you are going through a transformation that, and you have been, but I think that this is a week where you are really... Um, working on yourself. I think that you are taking the lead. You're taking the reins. You are determined. You are very determined. It's almost like you're determined to win or you're determined to get something. And that's good. Okay, determination is good, but I feel like you, um, you're not being totally realistic because there's no pentacles here, you know, and there's no swords here. So swords are logic and pentacles are realistic and they're not here. So I think that you need to you need to be you know you need to be ground yourself a little bit. Make sure you're not looking at something with rose colored glasses. Two of cups reversed. We do have a partnership here. You know, you complete you. Make sure you remember that. We have a partnership here that probably isn't very compatible. Okay, there, this is um, disharmony, disconnection, an imbalance, um, an argument or a breakup or, you know, losing friendships or this is like a failed partnership, okay, that doesn't really get off the ground and or it doesn't last because uh, maybe there's a third party situation and maybe... Uh, Whoever you're dealing with is headed towards a, a, a water sign or something like that. I do see anger here. So I think by the end of the week, somebody could be storming off. This is like storming away. It's like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this at all. Okay, that's what it feels like here. It's like somebody just storms off and, you know, stomps their feet and gets all pissed off and... 
turns their back on the whole situation. Um, I think that you've been hoping for the best. You've been hoping and praying for the best in regards to a partnership. But this is not, this is incompatibility. Okay, and I'm just being honest with you. There's, there could be an argument. All right. Um, Six of Wands reversed is a setback. It's like a one hit wonder. It's somebody that is very cocky, that is overinflated, that has a big ego, that um, doesn't have any staying power. I'm talking about this one, not this one, but this is somebody that, you know, doesn't follow through. So I feel like you may, but you're being very optim, overly optimistic about it. I think that you need to um, be more realistic. I'm sorry. But anyway, the chariot is determined, determined to uh, win, determined to win. I think that there's a lot of determination here. You are um, working on self-love as well. Ah, ha, ha, healing, healing, ten of swords, this is painful, okay, leaving some sort of painful situation behind, the only way that you can do that is to love yourself, you know, it's like, it looks like you have been betrayed, it looks like you have, and this is, okay, it goes past to future, so what happens is, is you have been betrayed, you've been betrayed by a partner of some sort, this could, I don't know who it is, but this is a partnership, you have been betrayed, Okay, and I think that your heart, you're working on healing. You're finding the willpower and the determination to be strong. This is very, very, very strong and love yourself. I feel like you are, have learned to take care of yourself. And I think that you have uh, managed to survive. You are a survivor. I think that you are definitely a survivor. But I I feel like you you still have to wake up. Okay, this needs an awakening is still needed. You still have to. There's something that you are missing, and I and it's hard to hear. And I know that a lot of people don't want to hear this, but you're still missing something. I think that you you're being overly optimistic about a partnership. You know that probably uh, isn't compatible. Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups is happiness. This is also self-love. This is a new start in love. It's a new love. It's affection. It's um, a new beginning in love, but it starts within yourself. Okay? Queen of Swords reversed. You may be dealing with somebody that is very, very, very um, nasty. This person is hard to deal with. They are harsh. They are bitter. They are revengeful. Um... You're, you are dealing with an individual that isn't very kind. Okay, this person isn't kind. And I feel like you probably have a really big heart. And you there's, there's no resolution in sight with this person. So your best bet is to go. Just to keep going. Do not look back. Do not look back. Remain in control. Something may happen that really pisses you off. This person may do something to piss you off. And I think that, you know, you will probably get angry. I think by the end of the week, you're going to get angry at somebody, a partner of some sort, that says something really mean or says something about you, you know. Um, and it, maybe it's it's heartbreaking of some sort. Uh, magician reversed. The magician is a master manipulator, somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. So you are dealing with a master manipulator here. And you may be feeling powerless to this situation. This is taking action without thinking. The magician takes action without thinking. So I'm not sure if it's you or somebody else. But I'm telling you what, that you need to think before you act. Make sure that you're, you're not rushing into anything. Um... Oh my goodness. Now the magician reversed is delusional and the sun reversed is delusional as well. So somebody here and the, the the queen of cups can be delusional because she, you know, can get caught up in her fantasies. So you really need to be careful with with your thoughts at this time or you think because this is about manifestation, the manifest but it's reversed. Be careful with your thoughts, okay? 
Um, I think that you need to love yourself. I think that you need time to heal. I think that you have been in a situation and maybe you tried to skip the healing process. I think that you need to, this is not healing. Okay, the sun upright is healing. Reverse, it's not healing. You need to heal from something. Something that didn't work out. And you ha maybe you skipped the healing process. When you have loved yourself fully, that's when uh, the right person will come in. I think that you've been trying to rush into a relationship being overly optimistic. And I think it's you just want to be loved. It's like, I just want to be loved. But that love comes within you. So I feel like this week is about self-love for you. I really do. I also feel like you have a new opportunity on the horizon. But you have to be strong. You have to be, you have to control your emotions. You have to um, love yourself. It feels like you, you, you there's a lack of self-love here. And I just feel like that's strong. And this Queen of Swords could even be your own energy. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is bitter. Somebody that is hateful. Somebody that it blames everybody. It's not me. It's not me. So if you're the one that is sitting there saying, oh no, it's not me. Well, here you go. Never point the finger at somebody else. Anyhow, I feel like you have... Maybe you, this could be self-deception. De you know, the Six of Wands reversed is, you know, battling. The, the Six of Wands upright is the, the battle is over, but this is still in the fight, still in the battle. So it looks like and it's right in the middle. So I think you're still in the middle of the battle. You haven't, you're not even close to being healed yet. It's right in the middle. I think that you are trying hard to focus on the future. I think that you... Uh, have a new opportunity that is coming but I think that you need to take time I think that you need to take time to regain your strength after being hurt really badly from somebody and that doesn't mean that you jump right into another relationship and I don't know why I really want to say that so so much but I do you are going through a period of enlightenment and development right now. And, the, and you can't do that with another person. The only person that can do that is you. You have to do that alone. But I see that you don't want to be alone. This is like, I don't, this, the magician is very independent. This is reverse. I don't want to be alone. Well, you know, you, you don't go through enlightenment um, the, the best way with, a, you have to do it alone. Okay. Um, I do see you um, turning your back on a partnership with an individual that, and maybe it's yourself. It is. Maybe it's maybe it's bitterness. And you are you will be turning your back on on the past. I feel that you are um, really, really, really focusing on the future. I do. But I think that you have been taking risks that don't become successful. This is doing something risky, taking a chance, unsuccessful plans. Be, this is jumping. It is. It's jumping. Risks, you know, and we all need to take risks. We all take risks at times in our lives. But you got to be practical here. Still, there's no practicality here. There's no pentacles here. None. There's, there's no logic either. Where's the logic? There's no logic here. So you need to be logical and you need to be practical. Make sure. So this week, I think that you really need to find your determination and your strength and your willpower to look at things through a practical eye and through logic. You know, when you're not logical and you're not practical... <laughs> You get hurt. So I feel like, he, you know, you need to take up time alone. I think that this is a week where, you know, you may, you may uh, walk away from somebody that you are not compatible with because, you know, this person is, and maybe it's your old self. I don't know. This person is manipulative. They lie.
I think you're looking for love. And I think you need to stop looking. And you need to love yourself. Good luck.